go. How do you actually do that? So you're doing after this one. Did you click this for the remnants of the Okay, so then I'll click here to scan. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have to scan the ID every time we give a medication. Yes. Okay. Oh, did you click it? It's hard. Yeah. Okay, and then this is where we go through. Okay. And do we do the and then, and then scan? And I already checked the rank dose. Now I'm just scanning the like double check basically. This is the third check. Yeah. yeah. But do I have to say it? Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we have the scanning and in the patient's the third check. Morphine. That's just like a one milliliter. Scanning is more of like the documentation. Yeah, because we can't look right now it now because it's not up there. Right, so you would check it first. The and then check. So for first and second check, would we do it back to back? Would we say, okay, this is how much it is, this is how much it is, yes. how much As you can do it again. Yes. Or the what door? they say you can do is you can actually prepare one, check it as you're preparing it, put it in the bucket, prepare, and then go through the whole bucket, All over again. second check. But you can do it however you want. You can do them like first check, second check. Okay. Or wait. Okay. Now just remove the dashes and then it'll come up as uh, verified. <laughs> and then. You can't click save until you get on the medication. Okay. Yeah, right. but it should well, be verified first. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not running right because the clamp yeah, and so it doesn't. Okay, so then we get that last up. Is that not ready? Yeah. Then pick the medication. Okay. It was mm -hmm. at the end. And the metro. metro neither. Why is that coming out? Well, we've got to figure out. Wait, did both you select? The next page? That's the morphine. Are you scanning yeah. the morphine? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how much in the bag? Huh. How many milligrams in the bag? You have to do it with this. In how many in the Okay. There was a dash at the end of the medication. Okay. Oh, okay. So then, you can leave this up, give it. 500, you've got 100. Then you pick that one. Then you click save. So that's the one, right? So you take a white. Oh, wait, that's the one. Sorry. And you clean that off. And you get the same name too. Oh, why? Because we need to do a saline flush. Oh, my gosh. Before and after. Before and after, because he's not continuously getting an IV. Right. So I'm that would be, we it's just have to automatically know that. We have to bring our sale. Yes. Okay, don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to send that to you guys. Please send this to me. Okay. Okay, so you want to do the press? I'll just put this in. How much saline did I put in? She said it doesn't matter, so like you have this 10 milliliter. She said you could do One five before, oh. five after. Now it's off. And you would do this after performing. Well, oh, wait, we already did the hygiene. Yeah, right. And then you cleaned it, and you would like clean the site, well, assess the site. We pull up on that one, right? Do we pull back or after it? This is the saline flush. With the saline flush before we administer, or is that not necessary? You could, but you don't have to. Okay. And it's completely full. I can't pull back. Unless you eat, if you just flush it, but you have to flush. It's not open. Oh. So if there's resistance, we just check that. Um, and you said, so for prep, do we grab two then? Because you said we have to flush before, then we administer the medication and flush again. No, you can use the same one as long as you don't. Like yes. put it down. You can use like five ml before and after. So, so there are ten just milliliter. Be one then. Yep. Yeah. And just what recap it? You so that can't it. touch them. You can keep it. Keep it here. Oh. And then do them. Okay. And then. So as long as both doesn't touch. Nothing touches. Yeah. And if it would fall, you would just have to clean it again. And. I mean, it should, but like, if, the, if well, something happened, you would yeah, say, okay, I would have to clean this again before I do anything else. Yeah, for the saving process, I'm going to get the new one, but yeah. For the port, you can... No, yeah, that's what I meant, like yeah. the port. Yeah, the port, you can clean. Just clean again. Yeah. <laughs> so you might just bring a whole bunch of alcohol pot, just in case, or yeah. it might. Uh, I would like, keep them on the table. Right there. You do it over a certain time, I think it's 90 seconds. That's gonna get me. Oh yeah. Well, I have to go and study other uh, medication. As long as you just state it, right? Just saying, yeah. Oh, that's what she was like. I'm not gonna it. time you. Yeah. And
and make sure after you push morphine, make sure you push slowly because some of the morphine is still in the gel. Mm -hmm. So if you push it really fast, then it's gonna push rush. It little by little. Yeah. Then and that's what she was. It. That's what she was saying. It's more important for the flush after to do it for the thirty seconds. Like you can just push the med in, but it's the flush that you want to do, do for the, the timing. Right. Would you agree that you can? Completely push it or still lose I would still okay. bottle. If it's that like, kind of scared me. Like, what like is? a morphine, if it's like um, four to five minutes, I will give four to five minutes. And, and then, then the flush for flush four to five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how much we can put it here. That's I. That's I need to do. That's my. So we would remove first. that from Experiment. the carpet jar. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know how to we dispose. We would of remove this. that from the carpet jar and then dispose it in here, right? That's not a sharp though. Yeah, this isn't a sharp. But a medication? Where do you put the medication? If it's empty, then it goes to the trash. Okay. okay. Unless you drop and break it, then it goes then to it the would sharp. Go sharp. But, you know, glass doesn't mean it's sharp. It's okay. not sharp, so. Yeah. That's the OSF policy. It could be different, but according to the OSF, the if it's empty, then you can put it in the regular trash. Okay. But if there is medication, then you have to bring back to the medication room. There is a black box you can put it. But the check off, that's. You don't need to do, okay. you don't need to do all that. that complicated. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to set the IV into a bucket, too. No, it's just, is that just for yeah. if you get a sign. Oh, because we have to clamp oh. it over. Oh. And if it's go to the bucket, I will let you know. Okay. Yeah. And then we have to clamp it after. Yep. So. Yep. Just so it's on your video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Like clamp it up. Oh, so, that part. Okay. You can probably read so it. then yeah. we just yep, and then you administer would time. Do we have to put that in? Yeah. Okay. Oh. And this end stays open, like that end, like. Or do you have to keep it clean? And we have a cap in the hospital. We can put the cap here too. But for checkoff purposes, we don't have to really worry about that. Or just I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just, just make cap sure it. you okay. cap it. Or we can leave it like this, but we have to clean really well. Okay. Um, can I, should I not push the same? Because that could have caused issues. Yeah. Okay. You can't go back, so. Excellent. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, that could have been there. Yeah. All right, so we did the hem. We did the heparin, we did the morphine. No, we just have to do the nitroglycerin. No, that's not. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Because we did the morphine. Okay. Okay, this is what's going to happen, though. I don't know what that one was, the other PRN. I don't know that I'll have to look at that. I don't know. It's sublingual. It's under the. But we don't know. It's under. The, well, we'll do that. We do know over this because weekend. it doesn't say that here. Because it says he has pain. He needs morphine. To do the IV push, I would wear gloves. Yeah. So you might get the blood return. Okay. So with PRN, we don't have to administer unless it specifically says on this sheet. Unless. Or it depends on the patient's situation. Like, because like, right there it says... When I'm saying, like, a fever, then you have to give medication for the fever. But, okay. Uh, so... You just automatically have to assume you don't need a physician's approval? Right. Because it's no. in there as PR. It yeah. is in Okay. Yeah. It's already there, so... So, this case... So, we did the morphine. He doesn't have any complaint at this moment, right? Well, he said... Uh, he's the physician, stable. The physician has given permission to administer the morphine as ordered for his current chest. Okay. Yeah. Current. Then, current. Yeah. Okay. Then you give it. Yeah. Alrighty, so then now we are, our last one was the, this one. Right. So how would we, we just pretend for the oral? Oh, we already, You'd. it already says green. Did you already put this in? No, that's, that's just the key, like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you okay. can see, you can see there it's red. It's available. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, can I try to see it? I used to have to one of these scanners. And then you go over there and you would get rid of if the first if one. They're okay. And yeah. the there's one. That's okay. And then... I had one of these grocery checkouts when I was a kid. So I'm really <laughs> skilled at that. <laughs> At this point. Or like the Easy Bake Oven. Yep. Okay. And then the time. I made dinner. So like comments, that's where you would put like... If the patient, the patient was hours, yeah. if they didn't tolerate it, just anything, or you would just put, or like, if it's like I given successfully and the location. Location. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so we do have to take notes, comments in the checkoff. 
some of the stuff, yes. Like, like a location you okay. inject that, yeah, like I am. Okay. And make sure you don't forget to throw check. Before we scan the bar. Uh, or during. Or is I, that during? I would just do that with this screen so that you won't forget. Okay. So after you scan it, just read everything from top. So George Louis, um, George Louis, Louis, Louis Jones and just read and everything. Then just because you you're holding your medication. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because there's uh, the make sure patient, you check it. But. The med, the dose, okay. route, mm -hmm. Yeah, time. it's there. So, so sometimes students yeah, do the third, the third check up in the beginning. Then they forgot to scan yeah. it. Oh, then just okay. start giving everything. Yeah. Then, oh, I forgot to yeah. scan it. Then too late. So okay. okay, so you. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so scan it, do the third do check, it at the same time. and explain to the patient, then give it. So for this, we would just say that, you know, we had administered this. And I actually. Can. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to open up, but okay. you just need to. Okay, that was going to be my next question. So, like, so we don't have to, to crush it. We don't actually to have to open this mm -mm. package. No. Okay. okay. Please don't open. Yeah. <laughs> Unless the, the one comes with bottle, the Tylenol. Okay, it's like in if it's the in bottle. a bottle, you could take one out and you have at the to. end just put it back. Yeah. yeah. For if it's in a bottle, you have to put it in a medication the cap, cap mm -hmm. inside the medication room. Sure. And you cannot do the first check. Before you put it, okay. because you're not gonna give everything away. Yeah. Right. <laughs> not with the whole bottle. Right. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> and the patient goes to the ED, so. <laughs>